Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our late afternoon update. I'm Victoria Holmes here in the WNCT9 Digital Studio. We're starting off with an update from today's COVID Task Force News Briefing. State leaders are warning everyone to be prepared for an active hurricane season. They also want you to keep working on slowing down the spread of COVID-19. They're asking for masks and other sanitary equipment be added to your hurricane prep. This is to limit the spread of COVID during an emergency situation. Greene County schools have rolled out their back to school plan. 42% of its students are enrolled in a virtual academy. The remaining 58% of students will be divided into two groups. They'll alternate time between in-person classes and remote learning. They're also requiring face coverings and social distancing and limiting visitors. Administrators are asking parents to keep their children home if they develop COVID-like symptoms. Highway ramps on US 70 west exit to NC 43 are temporarily closed for improvements. Crews are widening shoulders and repaving the highway. Paving will begin Monday, August 10th at 6.30 in the morning and will finish Tuesday, August 11th around 7 p.m. The highway will also be renamed to Interstate 42. And Nine on Your Side is bringing you the annual Ronald McDonald House Telethon. All proceeds will benefit family in need. Let's hear from the Taylor family right now. About 30 years ago, I, as an individual, got to take advantage um, and see firsthand the support that the Ronald McDonald uh, House can provide to the community. So my sister, Rachel Taylor, um, contracted a very rare illness uh, when I was 12. Um, had to be airlifted to what was then Pitt Memorial Hospital, which is now, of course, Vinant. And uh, we were here for roughly nine, 10 days before she passed away. And as you can imagine, for any family that's lost a loved one, uh, that was an extremely difficult time. The day leading up to her death, as well as the, the evening she passed away, uh, the Ronald McDonald House allowed us to, uh, to come and uh, stay uh, those two nights. It kept us close as a family, close here to the hospital in a very trying time. And I can only imagine the countless number of families that have been supported by the Ronald McDonald House in, in the last 30 years. And we're excited as an organization to be able to provide support and assistance to the Ronald McDonald House for their virtual telethon. Um, and U.S. Sailor is proud to provide 40 devices uh, for this to take place for the telethon from home or from here um, at the Ronald McDonald House. Very appreciative of WNCT giving us the opportunity to step outside of our normal day-to-day -day business. I urge, I support anyone um, who has the ability uh, to donate, to give to the Ronald McDonald House. Um, you'll be helping families just as mine was supported and helped at that time. And I encourage anyone that has the opportunity to do that to take advantage of that. Thank you for tuning in to our late afternoon update. Remember that thank you for joining us for our late afternoon update. Remember the telethon ends tonight at 7 p.m. Have a great weekend.